is webbing weaker when it's wet? But what I'm curious about is what happens if a dog pisses on it or at the naked walk you get some crap on it? Well, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna piss on some webbing. Mmm, the lengths we go through for science. Man, I've been holding this. <laughs> smells fantastic. Mmm, I should have had more asparagus. Ew. Stop. There we go. Ready to test our webbing. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to my gear room. I was asked by a viewer if P, specifically dog P, damages webbing. His pup went pee pee on his webbing. So I googled it and I saw on the Rock and Ice Climbing Magazine that the gear guy didn't really know and just recommended people wash their rope. So that pissed me off. So I wanted to release some brake tests to you to get to the bottom of things. Sorry. Not a lot of pee puns I could come up with. So anyways, we broke three different types of webbing. Type 18, nylon, moonwalk, dyneema polyester, and spider silk, which is Vectrin. Okay, I think our samples are ready. Time to do some science. Let's go. Mmm, delicious. It is not currently wet. All right, let's do it. So we broke a normal piece of type 18 before in a weblock 3.0. So in this test, we also put them in weblock 3.0s so we can compare apples to apples. And a good piece of type 18 that hasn't been peed on breaks at 23.8 kilonewtons. And the sample that I did pee on broke at 21.5 kilonewtons. So the type 18 broke behind the weblock, just like all our samples, pee or no pee, always do. Now we lost 2.3 kilonewtons on our type 18. So the moonwalk was tested in a similar way except we double wrapped it in the weblock 3.0 just like we did for our non-P sample. And on our non-P sample it broke at 27.3 kilonewtons. And on the sample that I peed on it broke at 23.8 kilonewtons. So we lost 3.5 kilonewtons on our moonwalk. Looks like I need to be drinking more water. So now I bet the spider silk will shock you. Our non-P samples, we did two of them and they broke at 42.5 and, and 43.6 kilonewtons, which is a lot. And the sample I did pee on broke at 46.0 kilonewtons. I added three kilonewtons to my spider silk. So peeing on spider silk makes it stronger as you can see here, it broke in the back of the weblock. This spider silk here is melted. Whoa. Damn. Wow. It melted to the other piece. Definitely see how it was in the weblock there. So here at Slacksnap, every brake test just seems to lead to more questions. Why did our nylon type 18 break at 2.3 kilonewtons less? Our Dyneema polyester blend break at 3.5 kilonewtons less? And our spider silk broke at 3 kilonewtons more? I have no idea. Now samples can vary 5% pretty easily when you're doing brake tests, especially in someone's front yard. However, all of these brake tests varied more than 5%. Now I don't think spider silk's gonna get stronger if you pee on it, only when I pee on it. Just kidding. But it's the one webbing that I did two brake tests on without pee. And so I'm getting, you know, pretty consistent results with those. However, Real science does require five of everything, of every variation, and I just don't have the time, money, or energy, or attention span, or neither do you, for that kind of data. We try to make it fun here at How Not to Highline while you learn something. And uh, five data points on every variation is just not gonna do that. 
So the question is, should you retire your webbing if you, or your dog, or your cat, pisses on your webbing? Unfortunately, we're going to have to say what the gear guy said and say, eh, I don't really know. But what you can do is put it in the mail, send it to me, I'll wash it and use it, and you can buy a brand new piece of webbing so you feel safe. So to answer future questions I know will be asked, wow, did you really just pee on webbing? Yes. Yes, I did. Next question. What about shit? Should you shit on webbing and then brake test it? Tell you what, you come help me do slack snap brake tests and we can shit on some webbing for you if you load it in the weblock. Next question. Where do you find the charts for slack snap? The link is in the description below. You can find them on slackademics.com for all of our slack snap episodes. Next question. Ryan, I hear cat piss is more acidic. What do you think about that? I, I, if your cat pissed all over your webbing, do you really, really want to use it? Next question. Hey Ryan, I need to retire some webbing because I don't feel comfortable after it's been peed on. Do you think I could use it as a backup? Are you kidding? That backup needs to be super bomber. If you had a mainline failure and you took a whipper on your backup, it's going to see a shit ton of force. And it's your last backup. You want that to be pretty good. Maybe just wash it and make a mat out of it if you're that concerned.